my dear colleagues, many thanks for this precious opportunity to share our latest study on the identification of extra chromosome circular DNA in multiple cancers based on nanopore sequencing platform. DCC DNAs are circular DNA molecules which are independent of conventional chromosomes and exist widely in eukaryotes. Most of them are shorter than 1,000 base pairs in length. Previous studies on small ECC DNAs were mostly based on the short read sequencing with fragmented sample preparation, thus losing the full length information. To overcome those difficulties, we combined the rolling cycle amplification with the Oxford Nanopore technology platform to sequence full-length circular DNAs. And those ECC DNAs detected by this method could be guaranteed naturally existed. Firstly, we established a customized procedure for ECC DNA nanopore sequencing and figure A, including nucleus isolation, loop DNA amplification, nanopore sequencing, and finally get the ECC DNA profiles in tissue cells. As we can see, only naturally formed circular DNA can be amplified and sequenced. And then the identified ECC DNAs could be further validated by PCR and single sequencing. We further compared the amount of ECC DNAs in tissue samples and found that the tumor tissues have more ECC DNAs than normal tissue samples. However, the size is similar, mainly distributed between 300 to 400 base pairs. The chromosome distribution of ECC DNA showing some high frequency positions on chromosomes 3 and 6. Notably, in some samples, ECC DNAs were found to contain the full length eukaryotic translation elongation factor 1 gene with two enhancers, which indicated additional gene copies and more expression opportunities. The consensus sequence of junction regions in ECC DNAs showed the AT basis preferred motif, and the figure B shows the same fragment from chromosomes 3 and 6 involved in multiple ECC DNAs events. Moreover, the mitochondria DNA fragments also contributed to the formation and evolution of ECC DNA suggesting mitochondria fragments might cross the nuclear membrane and fuse with the DNA in the nucleus. Unlike the tissue samples, the ECC DNA profile in plasma shows different distribution at 119 base pair and 315 base pair. Moreover, small ECC DNAs in plasma were mostly from chromosome 1 and 2 without a positional preference. By comparing the genomic component of plasma ECC DNA with tissue samples, we found the proportion of some elements such as 3' UTR, signs, CPG island significantly different. But the motif sequences were consistent with the tissue samples having AT based preference. Next, we compared the sequence homologous of small ECC DNAs between plasma and the paired tissue. Some shared ECC DNAs were identified and validated as biomarkers, among which the MEP1A associated small ECC DNA was detected in all cancer patients, but not in normal people, indicating that the small ECC DNAs can be used as a liquid biopsy marker for tumors. Other selected ECC DNA molecules also showed high pan cancer diagnostic value from an independent cohort study. Meanwhile, by combining with CEA, the accuracy of pan cancer prediction could be further improved. Finally, although the physiological function of ECC DNA is still unknown, but as the independent and stable circular DNA molecules, the ECC DNAs can serve as ideal biomarkers for cost-effective pain cancer diagnosis and monitoring.
I would like to thank Oxford Nanopore again for their long-term support of my research work, and I look forward to receiving more attention to our future studies.